We love everything about the new PS4 design, but the thing we love the most is the easily accessible hard drive. I just got my PS4, and the first thing I'm gonna do is swap out the hard drive for a much faster SSD drive. It's a pretty simple swap, so I thought I'd bring you all along for the ride. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of swapping out the hard drive in your PS4. This is a super simple upgrade with minimal tools. You're only going to need a Phillips number one screwdriver, a flash drive with at least a gig of space, two flash drives if you're saving data from your old drive, your new two and a half inch hard drive, and a computer with internet access to download the latest system software for your PS4. We'll give you that link in the description of this video. To start, we're gonna make sure the console is unplugged and then remove the top glossy panel by adding a small amount of pressure and sliding it off. Next, we're just gonna remove the one screw securing the hard drive tray. With that out, you can slide the hard drive out and get to work on the screws holding the hard drive in place. Finally, we just need to replace the drive with our shiny new one and secure it back in the PS4. The only thing that might give you some trouble is replacing the panel. It looks like it should slide back into place, but it's much easier if you come from the top and snap it back. Now we can turn our attention to initializing the new hard drive. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to go to Sony's website and download the latest update for the PS4. Once that's completed, connect your USB drive to the computer and make sure it's formatted to FAT32. On that freshly formatted drive, we're gonna create two folders. The first will be called PS4, and the second, which you should put inside the first folder, will be called UPDATE in all caps. You wanna make sure that the names for those folders are exactly those names, caps and all. Otherwise, your PS4 won't be able to find the update. Lastly, you just need to copy the system software file you downloaded from Sony into the folder called Update. With your PS4 completely powered down, connect the flash drive and turn your PS4 on. It should automatically go into safe mode and begin the drive initialization process. Your PlayStation should ask you to make sure your controller is connected by its USB cable, then click the PlayStation button on the controller. Click OK on the next screen to continue the update. This process should take a couple of minutes, so just sit tight. Finally, you'll be told the PS4 will be initialized and asked if you want to continue. Click Yes here. The system will then copy the update file from your drive to the console and install it. And you're done. Now you have a brand new hard drive. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many more repairs at ifixit.com. And let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow iFixit at iFixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. And you can give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.